This is Arnold Schoenberg speaking. I'm going to give you some information about my symphonic poem, Pelias and Melisande, which you are going to hear next. It was performed and broadcast by the Hessische Rundfunk in Frankfurt am Main on the occasion of Festival of My Music honoring my 75th birthday. At this occasion, I had the pleasure to have it conducted by my brilliant pupil, Wilfried Zillig, who is also an extremely gifted composer. It was around 1900 when Maurice Matterling fascinated composers, stimulating them to create music with dramatic poems. What attracted all was his art of dramatizing eternal problems of humanity in the form of fairy tales, blending them timelessness without adhering to imitation of ancient styles. I had at first plan to convert Pellas and Melisande into an opera, but I gave up this plan, though I didn't know that Debussy was working on his opera at the same time. I still regret that I did not carry out my initial intention. It would have differed from the business. I might have missed the wonderful perfume of the poem, but I might have made my characters more singing. On the other hand, the symphonic poem helped me in that it taught me to express my characters in precisely formulated units, which technique an opera would perhaps not have promoted so well. Thus, my faith evidently guided me with great foresight. This is Arnold Schoenberg speaking, and you will now hear the symphonic poem, Pelles and Melisande, conducted by Winfried Seelitz. 